I'm excited for the rematch. I don't know whether to take it as a sign of disrespect, like I didn't beat him good enough, which I thought I did, you know, the last fight. But uh, I think I could have finished it in the first round last time, and I think I'm going to get a first round finish this time. Last fight, we uh, asked the promoter, because uh, we had no video on him, if he was right or left-handed. They told us he was right-handed. Well, he came out southpaw, so that completely disrupted our entire, you know, game plan in the stand-up aspect. So now that we know he's a lefty, I've been training against a lot of lefties and been working towards a lefty. Um, so, like I said, I think it'll be more or less the same, but just in a quicker fashion. I'm going for the knockout or the submission. I don't care whichever one it is. I want it to be nasty, I want it to be quick, and want it to be ugly, so. Yeah, we've definitely found a home here at Epic. Epic's a great gym, uh, a lot of support behind us. Uh, bouncing around to the different gyms, I mean, it's a little hectic, you know, I've, I'm, a, I'm a single father, um, you know, I've got that to juggle. I also work full time. So not having a fixed schedule on when I'm supposed to be training can be a little, you know, not getting the proper amount of sleep can be a little hard on me. Um, now, you know, that we're in a, in a set place where we have a fixed schedule where I'm training, uh, it makes things a lot easier. But for a while there, you know, I didn't know if I was training at four o'clock at night or one o'clock in the afternoon or seven o'clock at night or nine in the morning. It was just kind of a flyby thing and we just get it in when we could. Um, now that we're here at Epic and we've got our feet grounded, uh, we also cross train over at Syndicate, which they're awesome over there. You know, I want to thank John Wood and all the guys over there for uh, allowing us to come over there and cross train. Um, you know, we, we have more of a fixed schedule where we know where we're going to train and we know when we're going to train. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's a great promotion for Tough Enough and a great promotion for the club I work for. Um, it's going to be nice fighting. I mean, home field advantage obviously goes to me. Um, but uh, it's going to be nice, you know, fighting in front of my friends and my family um, and having the, you know, large amount of support there. Um, I don't know. I, I can't really say until the fight, but I feel like I'll be a little bit more comfortable being there in my own element, you know. Um, you know, I fight there a lot, but not in a cage. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be, uh, I'll be a little bit more relaxed in a and in my zone, but uh, I think it's an awesome promotion. I saw um, kind of a taped layout they did up on the roof. It looks awesome. I, I think it'll be a good thing. And I know they're planning on doing a few of those in the future. So I think it'll be a great, great venue. I'd like to thank uh, Justin over here at Epic. Thank Epic Gym for uh, setting us up with a you know good home base. You know, it's good to be in one spot. Uh, I want to thank Robert Navone, my uh, head coach, uh, Dewey Cooper, my kickboxing coach, uh, Gil Martinez, my, uh, uh, one of my other striking coaches, uh, Booster Nefarios, great teammate, great training partner, Ty Newton, another great teammate, great uh, training partner. Um, want to thank uh, my buddy uh, Dustin Moon in California, kid I grew up with, he uh, sponsored me on some t-shirts, Soldier 15 gear, you know, look him up, soldier15.com. Uh, I think that's pretty much everybody, you know, my kids, I love my kids. Uh, and uh, everybody out there who's supporting me and who's coming to town to see me uh, defend my title. You know, I'm just gonna go in there and uh, you know, whether he's gotten better, whether he hasn't, just do the same thing, press forward on him and, uh, and uh, you know, make it my fight. It's not his fight, it's my fight.